Yeah, oh, what? It's good. My ass ain't crazy. Oh, what? It's good. So, I guess a little filler is not all that bad. Especially when we get to learn more of the lifestyle that they want for these kids. Not to be under stress all the time and to at least be able to smile here and there. This is a good example of how adults can do some good stuff for these kids of war who probably won't ever live a normal life unless they can really buckle down after the things they're going to have to do. I think that's another thing that people don't take into account with the show. These are kids taking on very big, heinous acts of wars from other people that will continuously do so unless they're stopped. And unfortunately, just like in Bordento, once you kill people, other people will want revenge. And it might become a never-ending cycle. Or you might kill somebody that was very important to a lot of people and have a full-blown attack on you. So it's this type of stuff that when you start really thinking about it, you get scared for the characters and who they are as of right now. Because they are so young that this is going to affect them quite a bit and i think that's how the show has been playing it is that every decision can simply change these characters and by seeing certain stuff it could also change them just as much as them doing it themselves almost so i love what they're playing with in this week's episode just kind of taking a step back and just reminding us how young these ais are as well as these kids and let them have a good time. But as you can see at the end of the episode, all good times come to an end very quickly with them talking in a meeting with multiple enemies that they fought in, in the past. So either there's a new treaty about to happen thanks to the new uh thanks to the new ghost and then multiple ghosts is out there. I think these are the only teams that don't have anything to do with ghosts anymore or have any AIs to help them like ghosts. <clears throat> so yeah, things are getting relatively interesting for that front. If they all team up on Bradley or something like that, kind of like how they teamed up on ghosts, that'd be kind of interesting. But I don't think it's going to work out all that well, not only because of the people they're talking to, but pride, ego, all of these things are going to play a role because all of these people are very dumb <laughs> that's in this conference call. So we'll see how it goes. I hope there's no betrayal, but you know how it is when it comes to this stuff. Sometimes betrayal is the only way people can get up in life. And unfortunately, they'll probably end up losing something in the process. So all that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day, night, evening, I am your boy, the Anime G. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Let me know what you're thinking about this show because I love, love, love it. I know it's not for everybody, but I think they're doing an amazing job with the politics and the robots and building up the characters. So I applaud them, even if nobody else does. Peace.